So here's your life and my life. We're surrounded by a bunch of do's. We can look at our life and feel like I need to do this and do that. I need to change this and fix that. We're surrounded by a bunch of do's and it, it can feel like we're almost being attacked by all of these do's because how can I do all of these things? It, it can be instinctual for us to get help with doing something. But what's not instinctual is getting help with who I be, with who I'm being. Because that seems so uh, abstract. It feels like you're dealing with the invisible. Can we get help with who we are being? I say this, we must get help with who we are being. Because if I don't change who I am, doing can be impossible. Look at it this way. Your life has all these do's. And the threat is that, uh-oh, I'm the common denominator. I have to do all of these things. But it's actually good news that I'm the common denominator. Because that means if I change, everything I do is impacted. When I change, when I change my thinking, when I change how I look at my life, there's simple changes that I can make that cause change in everything I want to do. But it's not instinctual to get help with the B because this B part feels abstract, it feels invisible, it feels impossible. But every bit as much as we can get help for something like a clogged pipe in a drain, we can get help with clogged pipes in our thinking. We absolutely can. Let me give a couple stories. A young man reached out to me recently and he's really talented. Like there is, there is a talent he has that he's so good at doing. And he's trying to make, a, make it a go um, with his own business out of his house and he's really struggling at it. He reached out to me and he specifically was asking me, how do I do this? And he was very specific in what he was asking and here's why. He did not want to talk about who he was being. That was off topic. Like, we don't need to talk about that. Like, I'm not going to talk about that. Just give me a strategy for what I can do. If I'm not the person I should be, then how can I do? Listen, I'll say this, trying to do without being leads to do-do. <laughs> and you know what I mean? Here's another story. A young man came to us probably two months ago and he had a list of about five things around his life that he needed to do or do differently. He had things he should do that he's afraid to do, and he has things he's doing he needs to stop doing. But here's the good news. He was brought to a place where he was willing to talk about who he was being. He was willing to enter the invisible space of just, can you, he, he said this, can you help me? Yes. Yes, but usually the instinctual human question is, help me do that. Oftentimes we just need this person to experience change. So this young man had about five things. Three of them were problems, things he needed to stop doing. Two of them were things he needed to do. All we talked about was who he was being. We never talked about those five things. But guess what happened as we went through this coaching program that I called the Purpose Mastermind? Guess what happened? Those five things were all impacted. He stopped doing those things he didn't want to do. And he took those big steps with things he needed to do. But all we did is talk about who he was being. But this takes us right back to where we started. Human instinct is 
please tell me how to do this. But the question we oftentimes want to avoid is how do I be? Because it seems impossible to change me. I live with me. It doesn't feel possible to change me, but it's very possible. Humans change all the time, and it's not nearly as hard as it seems. Every bit as much as if your car breaks down and you're just like, I have no clue. To, to you and to me, it feels impossible to make the car operate again. But to someone who does work on cars, it's really easy for them. That's why we do the Purpose Mastermind with people. The topic of purpose, it helps us to be the person that can do with our life. That's just something that we do. And honestly, it's pretty easy. And it's pretty easy for people to, to know their purpose. But what can be impossible for people is to engage in the conversation about purpose because it feels so invisible. My friends, in the messy middle of our life is the invisible of who we are, of who I really am. Frankly, it's easier for us to be afraid of who we are than to believe in who we are. It's easier to think about like ourself and be like, I guess I'll never change. I'll always be like this. And it's not true. The invisible things in us that feel like they threaten us can change. And instead of being threatened by things that we believe and think about ourselves, what if instead we can tap into the power that's within us, the purpose that's within us? In the messy middle is where you and I, we live every day. But we don't have to be afraid of the messy middle. We can be, and then we'll be empowered to be able to do.